Hi guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Today I'm taking you into this house. I visited an, an estate sale and long story short, the family that lives here, this is their upstate house and the man is number three investor on Wall Street. He himself is worth $2.4 billion. That's billion with a B. So it was very exciting to be in, in his upstate house. He has his original place that they live is in Manhattan, and he also has a place in the Hamptons. So it's like you never know who lives close by. You know what I mean? It's pretty crazy. So yes, the prices were pretty crazy, but the stuff in this house was pretty amazing. I mean, just look at these floors. The house is for sale. It's a it's over 4,000 square feet on over 40 acres. It has the house itself, um, a guest house on the property, tennis courts, um, a couple different lakes, one with a waterfall, and the house is going for 1.4 million, which I actually think is pretty cheap for what what it is. <laughs> oh, and a heated in-ground pool and jacuzzi which you'll see in the video. Um, fireplaces in every single room. I think it was five bedrooms, three bath or something like that. Basement, full basement, you know, it's just an amazing house. Just the setup of it was so cool with, you know, all the shelving in the walls, the wood floors. Did you guys see these doors? Like the wood doors, they look like dungeon doors. I think it was so cool. Um, this man, like, look at all his awards. And he graduated from Harvard. So it's just really cool to see and be in a house of a man that's worth $2.4 billion. <laughs> trying to show you guys pricing, but can't really see it that well. This little outdoor room was awesome. Like a little pool house room. There's the pool. I didn't really get too many things here, but what I did get, you know, I'll point out to you in the video because there won't be a haul video. If you can see that copper planter right there, I ended up getting that. I paid half of that. The guy running the estate sale is, he's become like, you know, a friend I guess. And he, I go to all his estate sales and he gives me basically 50% off sticker prices. So I'm really grateful, and I'm sure he's grateful for my money. <laughs> but that planter I, I purchased for myself, not for resale. I did, look at the doors, oh, so beautiful. I did purchase a few things for resale and a few things for myself. And sorry if I'm going a little quick or I have very sudden movements. Uh, there were a lot of other people walking around the house, so I didn't really want to get them in the video. And I also didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to look weird by filming in somebody's house. <laughs> $2,500 for that thing. Wowza. Okay, guys, check it out. I fell in love with this mirror. 
spoiler alert, I bought it. But, now don't freak out, I did not pay $450 for it. Not even close. <laughs> So that is going, it's actually currently right now in my storage unit. And when we get a house early next year, it's going right in there. <laughs> There's the basement. A lot of the doors were closed off. A lot of the rooms were closed off. Um, it it kind of stunk because we didn't really get to go everywhere, but that's pretty normal for estate sales. You know, they want to still have some privacy. see his little Wall Street uh, subway sign right there. Probably should have got that, actually. Kyle really liked that. It was uh, old furnace, I guess. All those purses were so dirty and moldy and gross. A lot of Christmas stuff. I would have loved to pick up some Christmas stuff, but they had mostly ornaments and bows and like single pieces, so I passed. Okay, so we're back upstairs. I had to stop filming downstairs because like a whole crowd of people came down there and it was a little weird. <laughs> Look at this room. I think this room she used, the wife used as her closet. She had, you know, shoe racks everywhere and it was like a full wall closet with all kinds of doors and drawers and everything and like a sitting area. It was really cool. I was gonna get those Timberland, but they had some stains on the toes that I wasn't sure was gonna come out. But all the shoes were $5, and the boots were, no, I'm sorry, the shoes were $10, and the boots were $20. The clothes wasn't, they weren't really as, you know, nice of designers or anything that you would think for somebody, a family with that much money. I think they were very humble people and they didn't really flaunt like their money in clothing because all of their clothing was very normal, uh, very normal brands. Um, the only thing really that stuck out were she had two pairs of Gucci heels. Um, a pair of coach heels and a pair of Michael Kors boots but they were really tore up like see here's the Michael Kors and it looked all right but the toe was really messed up and um, the Gucci heels the heel was it looked like I mean it looked like a dog took a chunk out of the heel um, on both pairs and the coach were all like the leather was all messed up so I don't know what she did with these shoes, but I, I didn't get any because they were just very, very flawed.
those I almost bought, but again, they're just there was just too much wear, so I passed. Again, these doors are just so cool, like castle doors. This was the man's office. So he still had a lot of, um, you know, pictures with celebrities. And um, my friend that runs the estate sale told me that he is very good friends with Bill Clinton and they go to lunch all the time. And, um, you know, it's just, he's very, well, He's number three on Wall Street, so it's he's gonna know a lot of people. He has his own financial company as well. So it was pretty cool to be in his home. Kyle is holding a brown Michael Kors full length pea coat with a hood that I found for only $10. So that'll be put up online or maybe I'll include it in an upcoming video if anybody is interested. It's a size extra large. I'm just not sure on a price yet. <laughs> I thought that trunk was really, really cool. This, I guess, was the master bedroom. I did buy a hat. I bought that purple one. Hats like that do really well in my booth, uh, men's hats and women's hats. So I picked up that purple one. She had a couple purses laying around, but most of them were really worn. Um, but I did pick up a few. So that'll be in my next purse sale video. So make sure you guys are subscribed and click the bell to all so you're notified when I come out with new videos. So here's all the purses and there were some on the floor. Um, that was a furla. She had a lot of furlas. Um, I did pick up a few. Um, this one was just really super dirty. And it was since it was white, I was like, oh, I don't really want to try cleaning this. Uh, so I passed on that one. All the ones on the chair I passed on because uh, they were just really beat up. That was a Mercedes Benz purse, but you know, I wasn't really feeling it. <clears throat> This one was pretty cool, but it had some damage and missing pieces on it, so I was, I was like, nah. <laughs> I was trying to decide if I wanted it, but it was, see, it was missing all that fringe and stuff. And I couldn't look anything up because there was absolutely no service at this house. Like it was a complete dead zone. But I hope you guys enjoyed and the video will be ending shortly. So make sure you let me know um, what you liked most about this house. Um, I did pick up this purse. It is a vintage beaded purse. And um, 
the video is going to get kind of choppy here because I'm trying to look in all the purses. So I do apologize for that. But that's a furla. I did pick up that one. That was a furla too, but I passed on that one. That was also a furla, but I passed on that one as well. Just had a lot of wear to the leather. That was a coach wallet, but it was pretty beat up. All right, guys, well, here is the mirror that I bought in a little bit better of a view. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.